Have you ever had a game that you were good at? I mean, really good at. Well, I did, and it was Golden Axe. It was an arcade game that I first played back in 1989, and I was just, for some reason I don't quite understand, it was a game that just worked for me. Now, it's not a particularly hard game. Uh, once you've got the hang of how to play it, you you can, with a bit of practice, make it through to the end without too much difficulty. Uh, but uh, I haven't played it in 20, 26 years. Uh, so I'm going to play it now and see if I can make it to the end and get the A++ perfect rating. You know, for years, uh, I held the high score on this. Uh, not officially, I never bothered to tape myself and submit it to Twin Galaxies or whatever. Uh, but I used to look up what the high score was from time to time just to see if anyone had ever beaten me. And they never did. So, this is my one perfect game. Now, it's a little bit different playing at home on MAME because I'm used to the arcade sticks. And certainly when you have to do things like a running attack, I'm slapping the side of a... Um, joystick in the arcade, but I'm going to have to double tap a key in this. So I'm not going to be quite as good as I used to be, I think, but um, let's see if I can make it through to the end. Right. Oh, better insert a coin. There we go. Now it's three different characters, but I always play Gilius Thunderhead, the dwarf. He's got a rolling attack, which just motors your way through the game. Uh, it's not a good idea to use it if you're trying to go for a high score. Alright, blah blah blah. Someone's been kidnapped. Oh, poor Alex. It's weird playing this in an arcade. People used to actually gather round to watch me play. Ah, a bunch of grapes guy. Or a bunch of flowers. Because it looks like that's what he's holding. I think people have got different names for different things. But anyway. Let him run at me. Oops. Yeah, definitely out of practice. Huh. I think I can still do this though. Now, yeah, once you figure out the attack patterns, it's pretty simple. Walking up and down will protect you from anything. Yeah, a lot of people who've played this don't realise that. Uh, Oh, just trying to line up for the perfect jump attack. Oh, missed. Oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, that's what I meant to do. Gosh, I'm really out of practice. I'm not interested in getting on the uh, chicken leg. I may have my own names for things. These may not be the names that people generally use when discussing the game. Anyway, the dwarf is the least magic. Uh, I've got my magic maxed out. Just whack those guys to get them off the screen. Oh, I one hit. And your little friend. Now, let's see if I can do a jump attack on this guy. Yeah. Killed him outright. Yeah, a lot of people don't realise there is actually a score to this. See, walking up and down. You're completely safe. But yeah, a lot of people don't realise that Golden Axe actually has a score. Uh, it does. And the way it's worked out is quite weird. I think I'll do another video about um, how to get the high score. Well, basically, you don't want to be riding... Oh, goodness me. You don't want to be riding any creatures, you don't want to be using roll attacks. Uh, to maximise your score, you need to kick or throw people. Uh, at the death, you need to absolutely maximise uh, the points you can get by that. Oh yeah, I always like to do a little uh, jump, try and finish as the uh, screen fades away, try and finish at the exact peak of the jump. Hey. Oh yes, I'm trying to finish in mid-frame during that. Our sworn enemy Death Adder is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the Turtle Village. Something I always loved about Golden Axe was it was really quite imaginative with the graphics. And some very clever uh, ways of doing things. Yeah, like this village is on the back of a giant turtle. You can 
sort of see the plates from its uh, armor. Yeah, you get. I think you get zero points for throwing people off of the edge. Or letting them walk off the edge like that. Right, we're coming up to the tricky bit. It's not this, this is easy. <laughs> Waiting, I don't get killed. Yeah, your health bar down the bottom. Uh, oh gosh. As long as you don't. It uh, doesn't matter how many blue bars you lose. Here we go. Yeah, you see that frame drop there? Just the sheer amount of things on screen, it slows it down. See the little Sega. A bit of graffiti in the background. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I really am out of practice. But yeah, as long as uh, I don't lose this last blue bar of health, uh, then I'm fine. Uh, you lose that and you will not get the A++ perfect. Uh, your score does not care how much health you lose, as so long as you don't lose an entire life. Uh, besides, I'll make up some health uh, from the nighttime scene after this. Kill her, turn around, kill him. Whack. Whack. Skeleton. I'm trying to kill enemies on screen. Because I can actually kill this skeleton entirely off screen like that. Okay. Green guy gives me health, blue guy gives me magic. There we go. I'll just get one health from that. That's enough. Yeah, I don't really use my magic. There's only two points where I tend to. Ah, the village is on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south across the sea. Ah, the most powerful dragon in the game. Fireball one. You can actually knock him off the screen in a position where you can't get on him. God, it's amazing. I still remember all the timing for this. Pop, pop, pop. Those dragons, if you wait long enough, they'll actually wake up and try and run off the screen. This fella there, and this, this, uh, see the turtle's head there? Yeah, that gap there is an instant fall to your death. Oh, yes, I should be right up in front of the screen for this. Backfire. If you time this exactly right, you can kill him before the second guy comes out the door, but I didn't. I'm playing this for fun rather than for score. Ah, you little kid. It's essential to get them to run off, otherwise things don't quite uh, spawn properly here. Kill him, and then there's a red knight and one red guy. There we go. Oh, all that a bunch of grapes. Yeah, this, these knights, they're very hard to kill if you're on foot. But on this dragon, oh, so easy. I'm about to lose this dragon when I go to sleep anyway. Get my health up. There we go, maximum health, maximum magic. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I meant to read that. Never mind. We're on our way to Eagle Village, I think. Yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do to maximize your score, uh, especially if you muck around with magic. When you... Oh dear. When you kill someone outright, you take away absolutely all their health. Can I do the double jump and get up on? Oh, gosh, I'm out of practice. You can double jump and land on top of it. There we go. 
I'll just do that. Here comes some skeletons, so I'll knock one off the side of this. See how we're on the back of an eagle? See how I didn't knock the skeleton? There we go. There's another one about to appear. And he went over the edge. walk up and down a bit so I can easily hit the skeleton. You can slash away at them as well, oddly, hitting them in the knees. Right, goodbye you. Some black guys. Now yeah, we're flying through the air on the back of this giant eagle. Uh, I like to kill people one at a time here, wherever possible. So if you go charging in, there's some skeletons you've got to fight. And it's one of the two places I use magic. If I'm playing for fun, if I'm, uh, if I'm playing for points. And I save magic for doubling up my points. Uh, if you get somebody like these black guys, and you whack them and whack them, and kill them with a kick or a throw, you get the maximum points out of them. If, whilst their bodies are flying through the air, you cast your magic, you can get the same points for them all over again. I'll start to have a look to see what the current world record is for this. I think by mucking around with magic and stuff... Yeah, here we go. One hit on that skeleton and then it's magic time. I'll do it. See, now I've only got to fight one skeleton and one black guy. Oh, we've got to be careful here. There's only one opportunity to get one health bar back. I think the maximum score I ever got for this is about 650 something. I'm only going to get half that on this playthrough, provided I don't die. Yeah, last food guy, please. It's the last one before I go to the end. The Fiend's Path. It was a great eagle when we were taken across the skies to the castle. Oh, I've got a fair bit of whacking to do before I actually get to Death Adder. He's the big bad. Gotta be careful here, if you run too far ahead, um, you can fall off. Simply because it hasn't quite initiated the landscape yet. There we go. Very easy to knock these guys off the edge now. There's the eagle. Get this dragon, and I can ride it till the end. thinking, was it 10 pence or 20 pence to play this back in the arcade? I can't remember. Yeah, 1989. Goodness me. Hmm, didn't want that to happen. Because now I've got one night on. I prefer to get two of them on at the same time. Yeah, it's a little challenge I used to set for myself was to try and make it so that the dead body of the first knight had the dead body of the second knight land exactly on top of it. Ooh, one pixel out. I think. Alright, maybe... right, some magic guys. I'm one magic bottle short of my maximum. Right, I need to get on and start hitting the big bald guy. Because if I keep whacking away with the dragon, I can get him precisely to the point of death by the time Death Adder forms in the background there. There we go, he's down. Whoops. Those skeletons really give you a whacking. Using slightly inferior magic there. I don't care. Yeah, each one bottle of magic gives me 
one magic, which enables me to just stop the action. It's my get out of jail free card. See me walking up and down here? I do this all day long. Just kill the skeletons from a safe position. If they're too close to Mr. Death Adder there, I don't want to hit them because he might hit me halfway through the animation. He's got magic of his own, but he won't use it unless uh, I'm quite far away. Don't absolutely have to kill these skeletons, I can just kill Death Adder straight out. I like to get rid of them. See, they're a bit too close. Should really have walked up and down a bit there. Never mind. Sometimes skeletons run down quickly like that. Up and down, up and down. Come on, skeleton, run down. You're wobbly a little bit. There we go. Thank you. Pick up some magic. I'm trying to get on this side of Death Adder. Because if I'm attacking him from the left, I can knock his body off screen. Whoops, there's his magic. Have some of my own. But if I'm attacking him from the right, his body never goes off the screen. And I don't want his body off the screen for the big finale of him dying. Whack. Whack. Yeah, I think we can safely say I've done this. There we go. Bam. That's the game over. It's funny, at this point I would normally just leave the arcade. Uh, some people would stand here and watch the uh, little animation that plays out at the end. Gosh, it was weird to think that people used to watch other people playing games. But then again, we're on YouTube here now and that's exactly what we're doing. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. How many things do you recognise in the background there? There's a Super Thunderblade machine. That's, is that uh, an afterburner cabinet in the background? On the left. Opa Opa. Uh, that's a character from one of the shoot em ups. Hokari Sweat. Obviously, a play on Pokari Sweat. I always thought it was a little bit sad that in this animation at the end here, when you get to see all the characters and then the heroes chase off after them, the poor little dwarf, he doesn't make it to the end of the screen. He gets stuck. Ah, oh. Presented for you by Sega. See you next game. Seems like a weird thing to say, doesn't it? Anyway, here we go. Score. 228 used. Yeah. Total strength, 258.5. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I think I'm probably get up to about 350 without doing anything special. And uh, up to 650 odd, uh, if I muck about. I could probably even go higher than that, to be honest. And strangely, the music continues playing out as we go back through the attract mode again. And there you have it. That is Golden Axe. After 26 years, I can still finish it with a perfect score. And yes, Axe Battler. Who doesn't have an axe? Oh yeah, his mother's killed by Death Adder. Everyone's relatives were killed by Death Adder. Hey, have you ever had a game that uh, you've been good at, especially in the arcade? You know, if you have, um, give me a shout in the comments. I'd be kind of curious, actually. I don't normally ask people to comment. And that's Golden Axe for you. Cheerio!